and I'll pass you on to Michael. Thanks, Darren. I really enjoyed that. Those questions are absolutely fundamental. Um, uh, my name is Michael Conroy. I set up uh, an organisation called Men at Work uh, to be a framework for having challenging and meaningful conversations with uh, boys and young men in high schools or youth settings, anywhere where where young men are, those spaces that Darren talked about, about getting into those spaces with a, a structured um, program for teachers, youth workers, uh, foster parents, whoever it might be uh, in a mentoring role, somebody who can have a sustained dialogue uh, with boys and young men as they develop and as the, the social and cultural values by which they are bombarded um, are digested by them, are sort of are interrogated by boys and young men or are uh, enacted by them. So the programme that I've set up, 10 Dialogues, it's, it's simple in a sense, and that is intended to contribute to a whole network and constellation of violence reduction programmes and initiatives. Um, but simple things sometimes can be really difficult to, to just take the first step. But I know that lots of schools, lots of youth settings are asking themselves, what can we do? You know, what is it we can do practically to address the uh, emergence of sexism, the emergence of misogyny in, in boys and young men. Um, and I, I try to make a contribution to that as simple, really. I, you know, as, as we all do, we do what we can in the spaces that we inhabit and that we have access to. Um, really good points, uh, both from David and Darren. I'm just really pleased to be here tonight with the, with the other speakers, and I look forward to the questions and answers. Um, really important just kind of I, I did have a prepared thing it, it's it's melted my brain's like that i will not run over time no i promise but just to say that um the question of consent is something that keeps coming back to me uh, and i think we do need to look primarily at the question of entitlement because as david alluded to the idea that people know the facts young men know the facts about PSAG, about consent um that intellectual understanding of a situation is very different to the emotional one and, and, and the action of the young man or the boy in, in a given situation. So the, the programmes that I do are really prior to consent. They are about uh, how we as boys and young men, uh, me as an old man maybe now, um, are trained or collectively socialised by the messages that we, we gather from family, friends, religion, uh, politicians, books, films, whatever it is, all the things that transmit messages, how they transmit um, uh, messages that, that are part of patriarchal culture. It's just, just simple as that. I don't really, um, I, I can't really entertain any any suggestions otherwise, because you know uh, our cultures for millennia have been male centric and male dominated, and that's that's where we still are now. Um, so the idea is that we just try and help young boys uh, and men develop critical thinking skills, empathy, uh, and to walk through all kinds of situations before they find themselves in them and, and to explore their responses, their reactions, and then explore again just by just constantly asking questions. Why? Why? Where does that come from? Who told you that? Why do, you, why do we think that? So it's not accusatory in any sense. Um, uh, and it is collaborative and respectful, which I think is the way forward to work with boys and young men. Uh, I never, it's not, if we approach it as a kind of hypodermic transmission of, um, you know, superior um, morality from an adult to a boy, then I think we, we're kidding ourselves. Uh, any meaningful work really has to be uncomfortable for the facilitator as well, because we have to look at ourselves and look at the men we've been and look at the relationships we've had um and that i think is where change can come from um but as darren suggested earlier as well the, the legal the judicial it has to be part of a holistic campaign so the idea that dozens hundreds of men thousands of men could join to to cover all the bases you know the, the early years the teaching primary secondary prison work 
probation, um, counselling, campaigning, it all needs doing. And as Darren said, again, women have done it all. They've done it all that, you know, feminism has has tried to call a halt to the absolute uh, horrors of patriarchal uh, dominance of the female sex by the male sex. Um, and we need to step up. We need to do it. It's not become involved. We are involved. We are absolutely involved. But we need to be aware of our involvement. I think that's a task um, to take to the to, to as young boys and men as possible uh, i won't i won't go overboard uh, in time but i'm very excited to be here and i i want to connect and network with other men who do similar things so 